guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a delicious chicharrón preparado or a chilindrina. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious Mexican snack, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need some wheat chicharrones, some pickled pork skin, cucumber, tomato, avocado, cabbage, queso cotija, crema mexicana or sour cream, your favorite hot sauce, and oil. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, right, so first I'm going to start by preparing all of my vegetables. So I'm going to start with my cabbage, and I'm just going to make sure that it's very finely chopped. Okay, so then I just like to grab all my cabbage and go back and chop it even into smaller pieces. Okay, so now I'm just going to transfer into my bowl so I can rinse it. So next I'm going to grab my cucumber and I'm going to remove the edges. But for me, this is a habit of just rubbing the edge to my cucumber. Um, I grew up knowing that it takes the bitterness away from the cucumber. So I don't know if that's true, but that's just what I do with my cucumbers. So I just do it to both sides. Okay, now we're just going to peel it. And of course, all of our toppings are optional. If you don't like something, then you can not add it. I'm just going to cut it in half. Remove the seeds. All right, so I'm going to grab half of my cucumber and I'm just going to cut it into strips. And I'm just going to cut it into small cubes. Do the thing to the other half. And that alone with some lime and tahini. Delicious snack. All right, so next we're going to do the same to our tomato. Get that into a small little cut them into small little squares. And you can remove the seeds as well or just leave them as it is. This tomato for me is good. I don't mind using the seeds. Okay, put that to the side. And the avocado, I'm going to cut it once we are ready to prepare our chicharron. All right guys, and now for the fun part, the cooking of the chicharron. Uh, we are going to cook our chicharrones in oil, so you're gonna make sure that you cook them in a big pot because these little chicharrones are going to turn into a big rectangles. Um, you can always find these chicharrones at your local Mexican store or at um, any candy store. And also, sometimes they sell them even already prepared. Um, but yeah, so let's go cook them. All right, so in my large frying pan, I'm going to set it on medium high heat. And I'm going to add enough oil to cover the chicharron. Okay, so that should be good. The chicharron is going to float, so it doesn't have to cover the whole thing. So once that heats up, we're going to add our chicharron. All right guys, so once your oil is hot, we're going to add our little square. And just be careful because it's going to start wrapping itself like in a little bowl. So just make sure that you guide it so that it stays open. And of course, be careful because it's hot. Okay. 
Okay. And this is the biggest pot I have, but um, you're gonna know that once it's done, and you don't wanna burn it. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm just going to remove it from the oil and set it on a, on a kitchen towel to remove all the excess oil. All right, you guys, so once we have prepared our chicharrones, now we are ready to top them. Okay, so first we're going to start by topping it with some crema. Uh, I'm going to use crema mexicana, but like I said, you can always use sour cream. And we're just going to add the first layer of that. And you can add as much as you like. And then I'm going to grab some hot sauce. I'm using Valentina, but you can always use Tapatio as well. And then I'm going to grab my cabbage. And when you go to the Mexican um, snack places, you can always, you know, ask for them to put certain things. But this is just how I like it. This is what normally they top them up with. Then we're going to add some tomatoes. Our cucumbers. Our pork skin. And you can always cut this pork, this, ugh, you can always cut the pork, you can always cut the pork skin like little pieces like the cucumber and tomato. And I used to love eating the pork skin with just lime and tapatio up until when I knew what it really was. So you can add as much or as little as you like. Then we're going to add our queso cotija. I'm going to squeeze some fresh lime juice. And then some more queso cotija. And then I'm going to top it with my avocado slices. And excuse my little avocados, they're already about to go bad. That is not the best avocado there. But then I'm going to grab some more crema and add some more. Along with our Valentina. And that is basically our chicharrón preparado. All right, you guys, so now we are ready for the best part, the taste test. Um, let me tell you guys that I love ordering these, you know, when I go to any local Mexican snack place. Uh, but you do have to eat it like right away as soon as they hand it out to you. Otherwise, you know, because of the lettuce and everything, it, um, if you don't eat it right away, the chicharron gets um, soaked. It, it gets soaked so that chicharron is no longer crunchy and it's just not the best. But um, yeah, so I'm so ready because this is actually one of my favorite snacks that I like to order. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. And they do give you like a fork and knife to eat it, but... This is the way you eat it. Mm. So good. Everything in one is just the best. And like I said, you know, there's some places that they already um, sell that the chicharron already made, so that's easier, but you can never go wrong with the chilindrina. All 
Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I prepare a delicious chicharrón preparado. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.